All right, remember this, my Fox and Friends weekend co-host Pete Hegseth swam across the Hudson River alongside 50 Navy SEALs to honor our heroes. I finished the first leg by myself. No jet skis this year, no help. The current was ferocious, and the motivation of the Statue of Liberty and all these amazing men kept me going. I wanted to quit, did not. These SEALs would never quit. Navy SEAL SWIM returns tomorrow to honor all those lives lost in the war on terror and to raise money for the men and women who made it back home. So here with me now are retired Navy SEALs Jason Redman, Paul Padro, Ray Kerr, and Bill Brown joining us right here on the couch. Gentlemen, what an honor to have you on the couch this morning. Thank you. Thank Good morning. You. Uh, Bill, let's start with you. You started this swim. First of all, tell me about your inspiration. Why this? Why the Hudson River? Why choosing this race to honor? You know, Statue of Liberty means so much for so many people. So many Americans came through there when it became uh, members of our country. The torch of freedom. You have 9-11 Memorial. You have Ellis Island. And I thought, well, what could connect all these iconic landmarks? I said, my brothers in the SEAL teams. And one of the great things that this event does is shows the character of the men and women in the military. I have guys coming from all over the country, all over the country to swim across one of the most dangerous rivers in, 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 in our country. Everybody here around me is a combat veteran. These are the men and women who put on a line for our country, and now they're coming back to help other veterans. It's a beautiful event. It symbolizes we have veterans, we have police officers, we have firefighters, so many great people that come together for a great cause. You know, you mentioned it's one of the most dangerous rivers. Ray, I follow you on social media. You put a lot of guys, maybe like me, who want to pretend to be or live the life of a Navy SEAL for one week, and you put them through some very difficult things. Tell me how difficult this is. It's a three-mile swim, right? A two-mile run, 22 pull-ups, 100 push-ups. How difficult is this river? Well, the, you definitely have to train for it. So this is a tough, tough river. Uh, you know, what's so great about it is myself and Jason have been training for weeks for this. Um, it keeps us hard and it keeps us strong because Navy SEALs do hard things, and that's why we're here, right? We want to step up and represent, and we have an amazing group. We have over 200 swimmers showing up this year. Bill put them through the civilians through a right. swim test, a, a grueling swim test, and we're ready. So is it hard? Yeah. Do we like it? Yeah. I know how hard it is, at least from a distance, because I saw my, my buddy, my co-host, Pete Hex, <laughs> struggle a little bit, Bill. He struggled a little. I don't know if you were there, Jason. No, he said the tide, the tide and the, the, the water. I've done an open water swim before. It's not like swimming in a pool. No. No, and, you know, I reached out to Pete. We were talking, and I said, hey, man, you coming to swim with me? And he's like, man, I got to move. So, but I'm calling you out, Pete, not being here this year. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this it's just amazing. And this year, I think it's so impactful for us because it's the 11th anniversary of Extortion 17. Every one of us had friends on that helicopter. You know, we lost 17 SEALs, 30 Americans, a dog. We have several of the Gold Star family members with us that will be at this event. So, like Ray said, doing hard things is what brings us together, but doing it to honor those who went before us, who sacrificed, it's, it's so amazing. And the support of the community, all of it coming together, amazing sponsors, Sunga Life, who created uh, our shorts, uh, massive supplements, uh, Sunbelt Rentals, all these people came together to help make this event and honor that sacrifice of the Extortion 17 crisis. I'm glad you brought that up. August 6th, the anniversary of that. I think the, the most deadly day in the war on terror in Afghanistan. Paul, um, back to the race for a moment. I'm curious. The answer has to be yes. You get a bunch of you guys together. How competitive is the actual event? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no one wants to go out there and, uh, and not perform, but... Um, What's great about being out there is it, it doesn't matter uh, who you're out there or what your reason is. When you see the guy to your left and righty you're putting out, you just dig a little deeper and you, you figure out a way to get through. Yeah. Well, I'll make you guys this promise. If Bill will put me through a swim test, not tomorrow. I can't make it tomorrow, Bill, but maybe a year from now, I'll be one of those guys to your left or right. We'll go through this together. If you'll carry me along. Well, well, I got to do better than Hegseth. That's my plan. <laughs> hey, hey, it's been thrown out. The challenge has been thrown out, Pete. <laughs> hey, if you want to participate or help contribute, visit GIGO.org and be sure to tune in tomorrow. Adam Klotz is going to be there covering the swim. I understand he's not going to do it. Is he going to be on a dinghy? How is he going to cover this? I want to find out. We'll find out live on Fox & Friends tomorrow. All right, Jason, Paul, Ray, and Bill, thank you guys so much. Thank Appreciate you. everything you've done.